Let's take a look at how easy it is to install a digital counter on a circular knitting machine. Welcome to Yarn Checker. I'm Sophronia. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to add a digital counter onto your circular knitting machine. It's actually pretty easy and it's definitely helpful, especially if your machine never came with a counter like my 40 needle one, or if your counter stopped working like on my 48 needle. I will link to the counter, the digital counter that I purchased off of Amazon in case you're interested in this one. I just picked the one that had the most reviews and had the best reviews. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, when you look at this counter, you're going to notice, oh, first of all, let's turn it off. I, I would suggest turning it off before you start adding wires to it. And you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a small one, one with a small head. And see this metal casing, or I'm not sure what you call that, but you want to remove that. Once you remove that metal part, you're going to see that this is where the battery compartment is located. So when you're mounting your machine, you want to make sure that you don't cover up that area so that you'll be able to change the battery later on. When you're looking at the back of this, one side says reset and one side says count. And we're going to be loosening the screws on, that are to the right above these screws say the word count. Two copper wires that you're going to be connecting have a red and a blue side and it actually doesn't matter which side goes where as long as they're both on the right hand side of the back of the counter where it says count. Can you see right here where I loosen the screw, there's a space between the screw and the, the back of the counter. So that is where you want to stick your copper wires. You might have to twist them a little just to get them to where you can fit it inside of there. So it doesn't have to be precise. You just push it in there. And then once that's done, you go ahead and screw um, tighten your screw. And I just twist it until, just until it was tight. I didn't over tighten it. And then you repeat that for the second wire. Do the install on this 40 needle machine and then we'll take a look at the 48 needle machine as well. I'm going to use the last needle on this machine and that is where I'm going to glue the round magnet that came with the counter. You can use whatever type of glue you want. I'm going to use super glue.
decide the placement for the counter. I'm I'm choosing the spot that's kind of close to where the counter is on the 48 needle machine. So that seems pretty ideal. And I'm going to use again, a, I'm going to use a combination of hot glue and super glue. On the 48 needle knitting machine on the Centro slash Santro, uh, I did it a bit differently. First of all, I put the counter, I just glued it a lot to the side of the other busty counter. And as you can see there, it, it works just fine. And I also had to install it on the inside a bit differently. First of all, I did secure the wire with rubber band, just like on the other one, but take a look at this. I was having a tough time getting the placement right just because of the odd way that this machine is shaped. And so what I wound up doing was in order to get the, uh, the magnet and the sensor to make contact correctly, I needed to have a bit of spacing. See this black round disc that it comes with the, with the kit. I just used that and glued it down onto the machine and then glued the sensor onto it. And that actually worked. Mm -hmm. 